Hello, I'm Angela Darland, your Brigade Family Advocacy Program Coordinator. I want to talk to you about domestic violence and child abuse, AR 608-18. I know no one likes to talk about this subject, but we continue to have families that are not safe in their own homes. I also know that when anyone hears family advocacy, they assume it's a career ender. It doesn't have to be. All we have to do is to get individuals the help and resources before it gets to that point. Today, I want to shift the focus and talk to you about preventing domestic violence from happening in the first place. I guarantee we can all think of someone in our ranks, our families, and in our communities we have a feeling in our gut that something is going on behind closed doors. Can you think of a few? So what do you do? Do you say, it's none of my business, and then wait until your battle buddy is hauled off in handcuffs and think, I knew it? Or do you confront them? Tell them that they need help? Or find others to talk to, such as these individuals? What are you comfortable with? First, let's define domestic violence. It is the use, attempted use, or the threat of the use of violence. Whether it be physically, verbally, emotionally, or sexually motivated, or any combination of these towards someone that meets one or more of these criteria. Next, let's address child abuse. This is the definition of child abuse. Many of our military children will become our future soldiers. Some families have a strong history of serving. Therefore, we must protect our children. Children who are exposed to abuse or suffer abuse have a higher risk of medical and psychological issues. Therefore, making them ineligible for service. If we allow our children to be abused, we are literally decreasing our number of future soldiers. All suspected domestic violence and child abuse must be reported by certain individuals by regulation and law. Reporting must be made to the closest military installation that has a FAP office. In December 2016, Talia's law made it mandatory that all child abuse is reported to the local Child Protective Services, and the State Child Abuse Hotline, in addition to the installation FAP. The Army recently conducted a study regarding domestic violence and child abuse. The results show that a family unit, whether it's the perpetrator, the victim, or witnesses, are at higher risk of suicide. Please keep this in mind if you have a soldier or a friend experiencing these stressors. If you know someone that is in need, please give them this suicide hotline number. So how do you help? When do you intervene? When you notice that your friend is always arguing with their spouse, or there always seems to be discord, they're very frustrated with their children and state they don't know how to handle it. This doesn't necessarily mean that they are being abusive but it's a great time for intervention. Offer a resource. Let's help our soldiers help themselves. Early intervention is key. If you know or even suspect domestic violence or child abuse is occurring in your ranks, please do something. Talk to your chain of command, the chaplain, the behavioral health consultant, the MFLAC, call Military One Source, just do something. If these options are uncomfortable, or if you have any questions or concerns regarding domestic violence or child abuse, please don't hesitate to contact me at this number, 303-336-7000.